Hey guys, it's Lauren and welcome back to my channel for the love of if you are joining me for the first time I want to say welcome and thank you for taking the time out of your day to check out my candle review If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you again as always for stopping by again You guys today I'm going to be reviewing Bath and Body Works Harvest Pear This one has gotten quite the buzz um just came out at my Bath and Body Works actually this past week when they did their little theme switch over. They brought out a bunch of new fall fragrances. They also had a 1250 candle sale with a 25% off coupon, so you know I stocked up. Harvest Pear was one of the ones I grabbed. A lot of people, I posted this on Instagram, and um, several people have mentioned how does it differ from Bath and Body Works Hey Honey, which was a honeyed pear scent, and then this one's Harvest Pear. So, I did enjoy Hey Honey. I actually have the remnants of it burning behind me. It did kind of start to have performance issues near the end. Um, I actually wasn't planning on burning the rest of this one, but I figured I'd finish it up while I'm filming. The throw kind of dwindled a little bit, but overall it was a good candle. I loved the scent, so I figured since that was a pear-based scent that I would like Harvest Pear as well. I don't know if I've ever burned a pear-type fragrance before from Bath & Body Works. I do like fruit fragrances, but I like them if they're more of like a gourmand bakery type fruit fragrance versus just a straight up summer or fresh fruit fragrance. Anyways, Harvest Pear, I was a little on the fence because it did not smell as gourmand-esque, I guess, as Hey Honey did. So, but I'm glad I tried it. I know a lot of people have been super curious. I burned this, first time burn, I burned it for about mm, three and a half, almost four hours no issues on the burn of the candle itself performance wise it was totally fine again it's a first burn so you usually don't have those issues until you get a little bit later into the candle so let me read you the notes before i dive into my takeaways on this candle um i'll get into it in a second so <laughs> this is the notes for harvest pear sweet roasted pear cinnamon sugar crumble and whipped buttercream Okay, the scent itself, I really, really like. I enjoy the fragrance of it. It's really nice. It's a little bit less sweet than the Hay Honey candle. Sweet as in the fact of not as gourmand, and you can actually smell a little bit more of the pear than you could in the Hay Honey. The Hay Honey was a little bit tough to detect whether it was pear or apple. You could tell it was like a fruit gourmand, but you couldn't really smell it too much. In this one, you can most certainly smell the pear note. And it's got, it's like a bakery. It's like a bakery pear. It almost smells like a poached pear. I don't know if you guys have ever had, um, a lot of times you have them like at holiday time, Christmas time, or at least my family did. Take poached pears and kind of sprinkle like cinnamon and kind of sugar and stuff on them and bake them. That's kind of what this smells like with a little bit of an added pie crust, bakery note, um, what have you, added to it. I lit this up in my half bath because I was a little concerned that it might be a light thrower, so I put it in my half bath to kind of isolate the fragrance, had the door shut, had it going for about three and a half, four hours, like I said, and then I was, you know, coming in and out and trying to, you know, see what I thought of the fragrance. So the fragrance itself, I really like. I really, really enjoy it. It's a good fragrance. I think it's really nice for going into fall, transitional fall fragrance. If you're a fan of fruit fragrances and you're a fan of like bakery fragrances, I do think you'll like this one. However, the throw was not the best. Um, I mean, I can get kind of picky sometimes with fragrances. I want them to be super strong all the time. So this one for me, throw wise, one to 10, 10 of course being like pumpkin pecan waffle strength. This was really only throwing it like a five. It didn't have a strong throw um, and it's a little bit lighter. It's a little bit lighter. I could smell it when I was directly in my half bath, but it was not lingering into any of the adjacent rooms. Um, our half bath is off of the living room. So usually you can kind of with a stronger candle or a somewhat stronger candle, you can smell it. Um, I, I really couldn't. It was directly just in the room and it was a little bit light at that. It's a much softer fragrance. It's really, really warm. You can most certainly smell the pear. You can smell like that bakery aspect to it. Do I like the scent? Like I said, absolutely, I do. 
Would I purchase this again? Probably not. Um, I would be curious to chunk this up in like a wax warmer or if they came out with this in a wallflower. I don't know, one, you know, once again, I don't know if it's the wicks that are causing that, but since there weren't any issues with the burn, I'm thinking that the wax itself just may not have had a really high concentration of the fragrance oils and maybe it's just not throwing. And sometimes you guys, some of these scents are just a little bit lighter. Um, pear in and of itself isn't like a crazy strong scent, um, like a sharp crisp apple um, or like cinnamon or anything like that. So pear isn't crazy strong as it is. So it was a little bit lighter. Um, do I feel if maybe they would have done apple instead of pear, it would have been a little bit stronger? Probably, but then again, they were trying to go with something different, so they did pear. So I like the scent. I think if you're someone who doesn't want a super crazy strong scent, but still wants to enjoy like a really nice, warm kind of bakery, but not over the top, you know, in your face pumpkin pecan waffles, um, that cinnamon pretzel twist was super strong. If you want a nice, bakery fragrance that's not insanely strong, obnoxiously strong, then you'll really enjoy this one. I can just be kind of picky and I want my candles to just fill up the whole room and the entire house. So this one's going to be a no-go for me. Um, I probably will give it a second burn just to see, but if it's not throwing, I probably will wind up exchanging it. I really enjoyed the cinnamon pretzel twist candle just because it's crazy, crazy strong. So I may exchange this one for that one. But like I said, not a bad scent. Um, comparison wise, throw wise to Hey Honey, I felt that Hey Honey was a little bit stronger throw wise, but scent wise, they're very different. They both have pear in them, but Harvest Pear, you can definitely tell it's pear. Whereas Hey Honey, you could tell it was maybe a bakery fruit, but Hey Honey was definitely much more of a gourmand sweet scent. Whereas Harvest Pear is definitely a fruit scent with like that added bakery kind of goodness to it. Awesome fragrance, just didn't throw that well for me. So um, I'm still contemplating whether I'll return it or not. You guys, if you have burned Harvest Pear, comment down below. I'm curious to see if yours was a strong thrower or if you felt maybe it was a little bit light on the throw. I haven't seen any reviews of this one. I know there's a couple up, um, but I, I didn't have the time to watch them. So I don't, I don't know if anyone else is having issues with the throw on this, or maybe once again, maybe I'm just being too picky. So I'm really curious on your feedback on this one. You guys, I hope you're having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye guys.